In this video series, we're going to be learning about exploring the concept of encapsulating data through objects. To get started, we're going to create a new Xcode project. So this will be a review on project creation. We're going to go ahead and open up Xcode, and I can press Create a New Xcode Project. We're going to use iOS application and single view application. And I can give it a product name, so let's call this Man's Best Friend. And I'm going to use the class prefix MBF this time instead of CC, just so you guys can see a different class prefix. And understand that class prefixes are completely independent to the developers. We can choose what we want these to be. Um, so you get used to seeing different class prefix when you open up different libraries and different projects. I'm also going to choose my device's iPhone. And I'm going to use my standard organization name and my standard company identifier. I am going to create my project with a Git repository. So I can press create. And I can go ahead and open up this project. Now we noticed that in the past we had to choose storyboards, but now our storyboards have defaulted. Um, and this is going to be the case in iOS 7. Storyboards were introduced in iOS 5 and are a great way to graphically display the screens in the iPhone application. Prior to iOS 5, zib or nib files were used, which were an XML representation of our views. But we're not going to discuss these in depth right now. Uh, they're just another way to curate graphical interfaces. Our ultimate goal in the series will be to set up an application where when we press a button, the application will show a random dog, its name, and its breed. The point of this is to show how our new class, which will be a dog class, will encapsulate all the behavior of a dog. Thus, we will be able to communicate with our computer the concept and notion of a dog using objects.